A service has taken place at St. Patrick's Cathedral in Dublin to commemorate the life of painter Louis Lebrocchi, who died this week. President Michael D. Higgins, Nobel laureate Seamus Heaney, as well as Bono and the Edge of U2 were among the mourners. Lebrocchi was described as an artist of international stature whose work defined Irish art in the 20th century. President Michael D. Higgins and his wife Sabina were at St. Patrick's Cathedral for this service of commemoration and the Taoiseach was represented by Commandant Michael Tracy. Figures from across the Irish arts world were also in attendance, including artists Patrick Scott and Robert Balla, playwright Tom Murphy and Orla McBride of the Arts Council, Garrick de Bruyne and John Boorman, Nobel laureate Seamus Heaney, and from U2, Bono and his wife Ali, and The Edge and his wife dancer Morley Steinberg, whose recent show was based on Lebrocchi's work. Paying tribute, Abbot Mark Patrick Hederman of Glenstall Abbey said Lebrocchi's work revealed the presence of the Holy Spirit in our world, while Seamus Heaney said an artist of such stature belongs to the whole world, although he remained a familiar presence here. This was partly due to his eminence within the Guild of Artists, partly to the way his name and his fame would eventually permeate the culture and consciousness of the country. But it was also due to the fact that he created works that marked important moments in the history of Irish art. Also paying tribute were poet Anthony Cronin and Barbara Dawson of the Hugh Lane Gallery. Louis Le Brocchi is the definition of 20th century Irish painting. He brought the world to Irish art and Irish art to the world. Louis Le Brocchi is survived by his daughter Sari, his beloved wife, the artist Anne Madden, whom he described as his third eye, their sons Pierre and Alexis, and his sister, the artist Melanie Le Brocchi.